What's up guys, welcome to my uh, 16th, I believe, Pi game tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to calculate the distance between two points. Now, I got my little uh, drawing thing open to show you guys visually because I found out that it was a lot easier if you guys could see. So in uh, my last tutorial, we had two points, one at 20-20, I mean at 20-25, and one at 40-55. So, if we went over 20 and down 25, let me put 20, 25, wow, I got pretty good hand right on the screen, and then we went over um, 40 and down 55, so over 40, down 55, so I'll put this at 40, 55, and we already built a function to calculate our vector which was 20 which is the difference between the X and um, 30 so let me go ahead and here would be our vector right here and you can calculate that because the difference is um let's see it's 20 down and 30 across so our vector would be 20 30 so now that we have our vector we need to calculate the value or distance of this line right here. So if you're wondering, all right, I know what a vector is, I know how to calculate um, the coordinates of the vector, but I need to figure out the distance from point A, which is here, to point B. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And by the way, since this is a right triangle, the formula for this is A squared and this side equals b squared and this um, slope this would be c squared so a squared I'm not even going to type it plus b squared equals c squared so that's what we're going to do this is called Pythagorean's theorem and he gave this to us because he wanted us to make computer games so that's what we're about to do and that's what I'm about to show you how to do so let me uh, minimize out of that and we already got one function actually I'm gonna go ahead and change this to X and Y X Y X Y uh, let me run it make sure it still runs make sure I didn't break anything and 2030 there you go still runs so now that we figured out this formula to go ahead and build the um, vector we need a formula to figure out the distance so let's do that right now. Let's make another um, function in our class, in our vector class. And this time, let's name it distance. So def distance and make it self. And what we need to do is first set the variable um, of the side A and the side B. So we already have um, these, we already have a list up here. And the first item in the list is the difference in the first side. And the second item in the list is the difference in the second side. So the first item in the list is this right here. And the second item in the list is this right here. So we can utilize those variables that we already got um, in our formula down here. Man, would you look at this? I really messed up. That's like graffiti right now. Anyways. So we can use that list to extract the values from it to, well, it's a lot easier to see. So let's go ahead and set two variables for the side so it's easier to see. Self A, A, I don't know why I said A twice, but this is equal to um, self diff zero. Since this is equal to this coordinate minus this coordinate. So right now, self A is gonna equal 20, because remember, Here's what here's the list I was talking about. This list is self diff. So self A is going to be equal to the first item in it, which is 20. And self B I'm going to make is equal to this item, which is 30. And then we can use those two items. These are the two sides. And we can use these two sides to figure out the length of that third side. So let's go ahead and write self B and set it equal to self diff and this would be one since remember zero is the first item in the list and one is the second item it's weird but that's the way it is and now we need a 
something called a math function square root. So what we need to do is import math. And this will give us the use of the square root function, which will give us the ability to solve for that third side. So what we want to do is return um, math dot square root. And again, what we need to put in here is a squared plus b squared. So go ahead and put self dot a um, asterisk asterisk that two, and that means square root in Python. You probably should know that. Self b uh, asterisk asterisk two. And what this pretty much means, it's a really complicated way of writing it, but a squared plus b squared and equals c squared. In order to get c squared, we need to take the square root of it. So that's what this does right now. So let's go ahead and the last thing we have to do is print out our answer. So print thing dot distance. And it doesn't take any parameters. As you can see, it only takes a self parameter. So let's go ahead and run this and then after it works, I'll show you guys it one more time. So here are the two sides. The side this side is 20 going up and down the side going left and right is 30 and the distance between those is 36 so let me show you in my awesome here we go right here this side would be 20 this side would be 30 and this side would be 36 the slope side and again if you take this side squared plus this side squared it equals this side squared and that's how you get it and it's a lot easier if you know that theorem but anyways that's how you do it so let me talk you guys through this one more time what we did is we took this list that we already built we already knew the first item in the list was the length of the first side the second item in the list was the length of the second side so all we needed to do is square those square a and square b and then you got the square root of the slope side or excuse me the distance of the slope side and then we just printed it out so that's your quick tutorial on how to find the distance between two points uh, using a vector it makes it really easy think to Pythagoras or whatever his name is so um, practice this tutorial follow along with me don't forget to change your variables and also um, don't forget to import math or else you won't be able to use a square root function so again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.